Former President Trump is back in the state. Good evening, I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Elias Johnson. So former President Trump is hosting two events just today in Central Iowa, the first in Adele, and now he is in Clive. WHO 13 Zach Fisher talked to potential voters, joining us with more from Clive because there's always a lot of opinions when it comes to news happenings and him being back here in the state. What do you have for us tonight, Zach? Yeah, you're certainly right, Elias. You can hear Macho Man going on in the background here, too. Uh, President Trump, former President Trump, just finishing up his campaign speech here within the last 15 minutes or so. He spent a lot of the time talking about the Biden administration and how, in his opinion, they failed in the Middle East after the Hamas terror attacks from a week and a half ago, along with the ongoing violence in the region. Now, Trump says that he would bring back the travel ban from his first term. In addition, we will aggressively deport resident aliens with jihadist sympathies. We have to. This isn't like being Mr. Nice Guy. We have to. Oh, we're going to have a country that's going to be blown to shreds. They indicted me for nothing. They indicted me because I attacked an election that was rigged and stolen. And everybody knows it. Just as they have done. How many Democrats said the same thing in 2016, right? Now, you hear uh, Trump talk about the indictment relating to the Georgia general election in 2020. He's got several court dates right around that Super Tuesday date uh, coming up in early March. So before his speech today, I talked with several voters to see how the indictments impact their favorability towards Trump. I'm going support, to support President Trump no matter what. I just think, it, yeah, it makes me get more fired up. It, it actually makes me throw more support behind him because I believe it's I believe it's an attack. So he the only one can do it. I mean, uh, all the other candidates that we got, they they don't have the mindset and the business that, that he has. Well, you don't see the crowd here anymore, or people uh, standing right here uh, behind these chairs. But I've been to a bunch of campaign events. Now, these are supposed to be big. Uh, the former president designs it that way. But you have some of the most uh, passionate voters, and you have some of the biggest crowds when President Trump's in town. Elias. All right. Uh, there's no doubt about that. There's no arguing that. There are people yeah. that still show up no matter what, no matter what the headlines are. And we appreciate you being there for us tonight, Zach. Thank you.